We don't realise it, but every day we're bombarded by over 1,500 adverts designed to manipulate our behaviour. But if we're going to get what we want in the modern world, we need to master the art of persuasion ourselves. Persuasion isn't limited to a handful of world leaders. We all do it, although some of us are better at it than others. Today's advertising market has become more cluttered. It has become increasingly difficult to make products stand out from the crowd. So now a whole new breed of guerrilla advertisers are finding different ways of getting our attention. Go on, buy something, buy something, buy something, buy something. You know you want to. Floyd Hayes is head creative bloke for the New York branch of Cunning Ad Agency. Many, many years ago, uh, advertisers and brand owners had all the power, so they could create an advert and it would be a very, very blatant sales message on your, on your TV. Presenting the new Hoover Junior. These days, the consumer actually is in control and the choice is much greater than it ever was before. Is it? So advertisers really have to ask permission to market to people. Traditional TV ads are like one-way traffic, delivering their message to the customer. The ad talks to us, but we rarely have the chance to talk back. What the new style of advertisers are doing is tapping into one of the best persuasive techniques there is, flattery, making us feel that we are part of an exclusive club in on an elaborate in-joke and clever enough to get it. Guerrilla marketing does this directly through witty activities and staged events or indirectly through media coverage of the events and word of mouth. This is not just cost effective, it's witty, cheeky and it builds brand loyalty. When Cunning took on the Mini Convertible account, they decided to promote the car as a miniature stage for open-air theatre. This is a very scaled-down version of the cult film 2001 A Space Odyssey and was played out on the streets of London's Soho, where an activity like this has a ready-made audience and becomes an instant talking point. It's a license for eccentricity. In fact, we, we actively encourage it here. Um, the wilder, the crazier the ideas, the, the, the better it's going. But it has to be tied into some very strong marketing principles at the end of the day. So we get the wild ideas and we have to sort of rein them in a little bit so it makes sense with the brand proposition and the strategy of the advertising and so forth. Basically, we're flattered. We feel good that we're included in an exclusive joke. And because we want to show off the fact that we are special and in on it and clever, we want to tell as many people as possible. <laughs> 